The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Taking Hold of God's Strength Let him take hold of my strength, that he may make peace with me, and he shall make peace with me. Isaiah chapter 27, verse 5. In the Revelation, he, Satan, is declared to be the accuser of our brethren, which accused them before our God day and night. Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. The controversy is repeated over every soul that is rescued from the power of evil and whose name is registered in the Lamb's Book of Life. Never is one received from the family of Satan into the family of God without exciting the determined resistance of the wicked one. He leads men into skepticism, causing them to lose confidence in God and to separate from His love. He tempts them to break His law, and then He claims them as His captives and contests the right of Christ to take them from Him. He knows that those who seek God earnestly for pardon and grace will obtain it. Therefore, He presents their sins before them to discourage them. By countless devices, the most subtle and the most cruel, He endeavors to secure their condemnation. Man cannot meet these charges himself. In his sin-stained garments, confessing his guilt, he stands before God. But Jesus, our Advocate, presents an effectual plea in behalf of all who, by repentance and faith, have committed the keeping of their souls to him. He pleads their cause and vanquishes their accuser by the mighty arguments of Calvary. His perfect obedience to God's law, even unto the death of the cross, has given him all power in heaven and in earth, and he claims of his Father mercy and reconciliation for guilty men. Not one soul that in penitence and faith has claimed his protection will Christ permit to pass under the enemy's power. His word is pledged, Let him take hold of my strength, that he may make peace with me, and he shall make peace with me. The promise is made to all. If thou wilt keep my charge, I will give thee places to walk among these that stand by. Zechariah chapter 3 verse 7 Angels of God will walk on either side of them, even in this world, and they will stand at last among the angels that surround the throne of God.